Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore the most unbelievable Doritos flavors ever known to man. But first, let's check our voicemail. <gasps> hey, Rhett and Link. Did you know that when ducks migrate, they can set half their brain asleep and the other half set to flying? So they can basically sleep while they're flying. I didn't know that, but I do that while driving all the time, I feel like. Your mind blown? It, it makes sense. It's a duck tapping into his reptile brain. Well, no, no, it's, okay, I, was, I think it has something to do with this. Uh, a lot of animals, their sides of their brain are not connected in the ways that our, ours, our, I, was, I was actually on Reddit and I saw a dolphin brain next to a human brain. And the human brain, the uh -huh. dolphin brain seemed like it might actually be bigger in mass than the human brain, mm -hmm. but the lobes were much more pronounced and different, and somebody started, you know, some guy uh, who knew everything about dolphins okay. started talking about it. And was Dolphin like, lover. Basically, dolphins are constantly moving f uh, to different sides of their brain depending on, like, what eye they're looking out. But the, what the, eye they're looking out? Yeah, it's like there's a there's a little man inside of a a dolphin head looking out no, at, like, like windows. What thing they're like concentrating on yeah, is yeah. like switching between their brains. But it's a completely different. I'm probably getting all this wrong. But the thing that was mind blowing about this was that basically dolphins never sleep. There's always a side of their brain that is completely awake, which is what I, what I was thinking about these ducks, which makes again, not to be a downer, which makes the idea that these incredibly intelligent animals who are always awake are like down in San Diego in a tank. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Not anymore. Didn't we succeed at getting rid of all this? I think they still got dolphins down there. Yeah, they know. probably do. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so just a little Let's a make little it, downer. can we lighten it up with some Doritos flavors? Yeah, please, let's erase that. And by the way, our, our um, you know, we just went through the snack averse with you guys. Uh, I'm still looking for some nut or butter milk to just be by my side constantly, just in or out of an udder. Just a cup of it. Um, join uh, quarterly or annual third degree of the Mythical Society by March 31st to get this. If you want to have it on your shelf, take your take your lunch in it. Or I um, opened up the studio fridge in in the alternate dimension. Yeah, that we, of course, yeah. of course. And the um, the the milk the milk box was in there, and I was like, "Whoa, what's this?" And then I read what, it, and then I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, I, I, saw, I got excited by how large of a box was in the fridge for some reason. Yeah, well, milk boxes know. are exciting. Yeah, you it sounds like I should have been excited. You remember the milk bags at the uh, college cafeteria? Yes. And they would have, to, and it would run out. It was a metal like container with a thing on it, and there was a giant milk bag. And then they would be like, "Oh, they're out of milk," and they would bring. I love watching, but the guy bring the milk bag. But it was like, it was like, hold that right there. This would be here. And move it that way so they could. This would be here, and this would be. Picture this as a metal bulb, and in order in order to get drink, what you would do, hold this one too. Get drink. In order to get drink. In order to get drink. <laughs> you would you would put your glass under here and you would go like this. Do you oh yeah, the lift. You would have to lift up this like heavy And it would shoot it, out of the thing. Just, I mean you tell me, but something's not right about that. Oh, uh, you don't want to lift and squirt. A lifting gush. Uh man. I think that in a lot of countries milk comes in bags instead of in curtains. Yeah, yeah. I uh, prefer the bags. Yeah. Um, do you want to hear some weird Doritos flavors that either exist or we made up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. What do we win, Doritos? Mm-hmm, yeah. You totally win that. Winter crab pizza what, oh, flavored okay. Doritos. Can this be in any country on Earth? Yeah. Winter crab. Winter crab. It's not just the U.S. Winter crab at pizza. At Ralph's down the street. Have you ever no, had good? I assume they haven't had winter crab pizza at the restaurant. I've never had too. crab on a pizza, but that sounds. I, I would do that. I'll have a shrimp. I've had shrimp on a pizza. This is so specific that I feel like it has to be true. It is real. Um, it was introduced in Japan around 2008, and it, the packaging crab. boasts all the taste and toppings you want on a pizza straight from our oven to your door. Plus crab. 
Winter crab. What are they I, doing? I want to look up winter crab. Is that a specific well, kind of crab? You know, you've got like uh, snow. What is it called? Uh, snow crab. Snow crabs are actually maybe a thing. really really good. The crab legs from a snow crab better than a king crab. That's what you. A lot of times you can choose between snow crab and king crab if you go down to like the beach in North Carolina and go to like one of those, you know, next to the road crab stands. Uh huh. Uh, I think the the sweet meat on the snow crab is better than the sweet meat on the king crab. It's also easier to get into. Maybe that's what a winter crab is. Yeah, I think it's a. I I searched for winter crab and I think it's a yeah it's a translation thing. I think they mean snow crab. But you just did you just say that in North Carolina beaches you got snow crab? Yes. Really? Because yeah. I always got blue crab. No, so blue crab is more like your classic crab, right? Yeah. So. Uh, my wife's family, I uh, my my family didn't do crab at all. Like I don't know, they just didn't weren't into crab, so I didn't have any idea. I had seen like oh, I've seen commercials with like people eating giant like orange crabs, and I was always kind of just like a little bit freaked out by it. And then I like the first time I ever went to the beach with her family, they were like, "We're going to have a crab boil." I was like, no idea what that meant. And then he's and her father in law is like, let's go get the crab. And he, like they go to this thing. There's these frozen crabs, and they pick them up. And the thing, like the body's like this big, and the legs are like this long. Like a king crab, you know, is that big too. But it's long, skinny legs. And they just boiled them up, and then they showed me how to crack them. I was like, what? Where has this been all my life? But yeah, yeah, snow crab is what they would get, and they would get it on like Emerald Isle. I'm gonna get some tonight. Let's get some snow crab and Doritos. Hit it. Spicy red pepper hummus. That's it? <laughs> you sounded like you were going to keep hummus. Going. Well, Spicy there is the pepper question hummus, mark. Pizza, <laughs> yeah. winter crab. No. Just spicy red pepper hummus, Doritos. Uh, uh, spicy red pepper, maybe, but add to hummus, no. But spicy red pepper hummus is a I type of hummus. Yeah. But it, I don't think Doritos did it. I'm, I'm in agreement here. Dorito, no. Nah. Okay. But if they did... Now, Stevie, question for you. Yes. If you get hummus from the grocery store, mm -hmm. do you just get straight hummus, or do you get the hummus that has something else on top of it or something else mixed into it? I've stopped getting hummus because it's an item that goes uneaten in my fridge, and it really bothers me when things go uneaten. Oh, I, um, oh, I but you the, know where I usually get hummus from I is um, if we get a Zanku order, like a Zanku roasted rotisserie yeah. chicken order, and it comes with like the most giant tub of hummus of all time, and there's no need to purchase other hummus. And it lasts, it does last quite a while. Yeah. All right, hit me. Link, you're you're a big hummus guy, no? I like hummus. Yeah, hummus is what gets the veggies in me. Olives, which but, you're not a fan of. Olive flavored Doritos. Ooh, that sounds oh, incredible strange. and weird, and I love it. I want it to be real, so I'm gonna say yes. No. It's real. Okay, where it's do we get in, these? It's uh, in France. Gout olives? Yeah, it gives you gout. <laughs> Dang, huh? Um, can, I, can we get those for me? Uh, <laughs> can we get those can, for can, me? Can, can, can we get those for me, Dad? Looks like you, you, they sell them in a the liquor store. Yeah. Oh. I just saw Ch Chase. He has a pen, and he wrote with it, so maybe he's making yes, a note. Yes, Chase! <laughs> Olive Doritos. Yeah. Gout. Yogurt and mint. Yogurt and mint. Size. Now, mint yogurt is a thing. There's like actually an Indian like a, food situation. A mint, yo yeah, yeah, uh huh. Ooh, yeah. That's, a, that's at least the first way that I think of no, it. No, I, I, yeah, for real. Um, mm. Mm. I, I don't, I don't think that works. But the problem with it is the mint part on a savory. On a, um, you know what? You want you want mint and yogurt with something spicy. I agree with you, but we've been agreeing the whole time, so I'm going to say this is real. It is real. Oh. In Turkey, in the early yeah. Turkey. 2010s. So, Who is that man? If you've ever been to like... Oh, it's a finalist. This was this is like a submission from a fan. This yeah, is yeah, that, yeah. Dude, that dude down there... Came up with it. Hazar came up with it. Now listen. You ever been in... Um, you know, like a Middle Eastern restaurant in LA, and they usually have, like if it's a small enough restaurant, they've got like a little refrigerator that you can kind of see different drinks in, and they've got that basically liquid yogurt. Oh yeah. The yogurt drink. Like a the fermented 
fermented so, and sparkly. Yeah, but yeah, it's not kefir, which I like. It's thinner than kefir. It's more of a drink. I feel like I need more of that in my life. I feel like I only have had it like three times in my life, but I really like it. I don't. Li I didn't like the uh, do carbonated. Like, do you like kefir? Yeah, 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 definitely. But the carbonation with it was uh, is a bit too much. It's like sometimes you just want something that tastes bad, you know. So you don't like it. Bad. Unex. Let's say no. I agree. Like I, I, it's like a kombucha, or like yeah. some apple it, cider whole, vinegar. What, what do they call it? Taste masochism. What did we did an episode about it? Whatever. Okay. Tiramisu. Oh, Doritos. No. I, I, I think they have a policy. I think there is a Doritos no, policy no sweet, no of sweet. no sweet. Dorit, no. I don't know about the policy, but yeah, these are not real. Yeah. Late night tacos at midnight. Late night tacos at midnight. That, that's, it, why do they have? Why to, is so many words? Well, why can't we just go with midnight tacos or late night tacos? Right. But you know what? I'm gonna but, go. I'm you gonna know what? Say Let's have some real. late night tacos at midnight. At midnight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, After the crab, you'll be having. Technically, that's in the uh, morning. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No. We got to get up and see the winter crabs at sunset, no. sunrise. The, the titling it hasn't gone through rigor. So, I guess this was like a little series called the Late Night Series, and they oh. had tacos at midnight, all nighter cheeseburger, and last call jalapeno poppers from two thousand eight. Oh, I remember those bags. I never bought it though. Late night tacos at midnight. Wow. Okay, it's a good bag. Late night is the title. Is the subtitle of a series. That's what got me. Do you remember the uh, the chip crunchers that came no. in? The, there was a black bag of them, and they were so offensively crunchy. They were like, some, can somebody look these Google up? Google that, Zach. Crunchers. Is it with a K? Crunchers chips. I think it is with a K. Jay's Crunchers kettle cooked. Yeah, those. I see black bag. That's what made me think of it. Um, were were they the first kettle cooked on the market? They were because they probably weren't any crunchier than a kettle cooked now. It's just you weren't you weren't I, ready I, for I, it. I had not adjusted. You I, were all not I knew was ready like soft for that lays. crunch. Yeah, soft lays. <laughs> sweet. Oh yeah, and that sweet Hawaiian onion crunchers. Gosh, they still sell them. Philly cheesesteak. Oh, that's a. Ooh, that, I'm sticking with real on that one. That seems good. Why would you not? Why would you not have Doritos? Ooh, that was give that me color? some of that. It's not real. Well, oh, it I should be. Think. Yeah. How could that not be? So real? hold on. So Jay is selling these on Amazon for twelve dollars a bag. Come on, Jay. I mean, that's that's. Uh, I guess if you if you're gonna sell it on Amazon, you gotta hike out the price a little bit. Maybe you can go straight to Jay. Hold on. Was there more hot stuff? Hold on. There's a twenty-five pack. 25 pack, no, that's smaller ones. Go back, that's just one eight ounce bag for 11.75. Yeah, that's a dollar 50 an ounce, I mean, that's. Good gracious. I mean, they are good though. Okay, I'd like to see Jay and Miss Vicky get into it. What if Jay and Miss Vicky got married? Do you think? We could, could combine our <laughs> crunchy fortunes. Sounds like a bad movie. <laughs> okay, we got more? Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew flavor? No, the, the sweet rule. Sweet rule can't happen. Yeah, it's real. No. What? It might take a few months before you can sample these Doritos, though, because they're found in Australia. I don't know if that means that... They're, they're, they're eventually coming here? Or they're yeah. Like, well, they're on a ship, right? They're on a ship. Well, uh, if a very was, they're slow. on a canoe. <laughs> it's, like, it's like someone is personally rowing Mountain them across Dew the Pacific. How, okay, so that breaks our rule. Huh. Look at that limited edition Mountain Dew. I want to try one because because it just it's intriguing, so intriguing. Spotted Dick. Yeah. Okay, so this, this, so you got this like British canned fish situation. It's not as canned fish. Is it a, it's a can it's of a, something. It's a dessert, isn't it? Spotted Dick is a dessert. I'm pretty sure we had it. I thought it was yeah. a fish. Sorted food. It's dish. um, it's like bread pudding. It's like a Steve's it is in a can, in a can. Right? Bread pudding. Well, it's not all that it. way. I think that's like basically what we what we get over here at least is in is in a can. Yeah. All I gotta say is see a dermatologist. I'm saying no. I think it's probably a urologist. If you have 
Are you well, I mean, dermatologist? If you've got spots on your, do you go to the urologist or the dermatologist? The dermatologist. Uh, I got no. You don't. I think the fact that it's the thing. It's still skin, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, I. Okay. I, I think vote, you go to the urologist. I vote dermatologist as well. I'm yeah, dermatologist. sorry. Here's why I'm going to go to the urologist. I because don't have the urologist one. sees these things all day long and it's not as embarrassing. What? Well, okay. Well, That's it'll be doubly reason. embarrassing when you have to then go to the dermatologist. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly right. I disagree. It's the urologist. Okay. That'll go great for our game. Is it a urologist or a dermatologist? My, we'll be playing later. my regular doctor does dermatology checkups, so uh, I went in for one of those and um, uh, stripped down into my underwear. Yeah. And because uh, yeah, I was asking you, is he gonna is he gonna look in my underwear? Yeah, because I, I get my urologist to look at my whole body every every single year. <laughs> Yeah. No, Rhett was kind enough to tell me that. Like, well, and he says, well, "Now, why do you come in here for me to look at your whole body?" I'm like, "Well, sometimes I can be a dick." <laughs> I was telling a story, but that's okay. I'm glad you derailed it for that joke. <laughs> tell me the story. I really want to know because I was actually also going to ask you: Are you okay? Is it? Did, I have skin cancer. Because <laughs> screw you, man. Because the thing is, is you went there and you were like, "I gotta get something." Yeah, looked at. I'm like. I'm and like, then you never came back and exactly. told me if you were okay. Exactly. And then you're like, you know what? Are you, you know what? You might have skin cancer, but I got a really good dick joke. No, it wasn't skin cancer. I knew that it wasn't skin cancer. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Did he say it was nothing? He didn't. He didn't look in my underpants. Did he so. say it was all in your head? When you say look at your underpants, I said he Lynn, in. He didn't oh, look oh, in my oh. underpants. Because I told Link that that's what will happen. That he will. Yeah. Well, okay. So my dermatologist and I go for a full body. I'm a moly man, so I go for a full body checkup. So when it's the when it's the main doctor who's a, who's a dude, uh, what he'll do is he'll just do he's looking everything, and then when it gets to the point where he's going to check this stuff, he just does a quick like he pulls it back, does a peek, and that's it, right? I don't even know. I think he's doing it for my benefit, just so I feel like he's looked. But the last time I went, it was a female doctor, and she. Was she basically just asked me? She says, "Do you have anything of concern down there?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Well, that depends on what you mean by oh, concern." No, no, no. I, I didn't say anything. I said no. I just said no, and so she didn't look at all. My doctor, um, when he found any mole uh, of, in question on my body, like one on my shoulder, I think he had a he had a digital camera and he with a blue light, and he took a picture. He took a picture and then he took a picture right up against it. Mm -hmm. And it came up on a screen as he was taking it so I could see the picture he was taking. But I'm just thinking, if I had a spot down there, yeah. then he would have been like putting a camera on it. Yeah, they don't and, do that at urologists. And taking a yeah, picture. Yeah, they don't have, they that would have been really weird. They don't take weird. any pictures of the I mean, it's, it's one thing to take Camera's a photo. Camera's not allowed. But it's another thing to put the camera on something and take a picture. Yeah, right, right on it. They're fake. It's fake. Spotted dick Doritos. Oh, okay. All right. All right. You know what? We've got a podcast. It's called Ear Biscuits. Uh, it has its very own channel on YouTube. The, yeah. This kind. Of, this this dermatologist. Uh, this is the kind tale of thing we talk about on Ear Biscuits. It's something that we would talk about. If you want to hear more of this, we'd probably talk about it for another twenty minutes. Right. Yeah. On our podcast. Yeah. Think of think of that. Ear biscuits. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, I'll do two more. There's two more that interest me. Cooler Ranch. Cooler Ranch. Oh. Definitely a great idea, and I think they did it. Nope. How could it be cooler? It just means it's got more spice on it. Oh, really? Okay. Then, yeah. Yeah, they're real. They were introduced in 1994, oh. but they are the traditional Cool Ranch Doritos you know today. So the name was eventually shortened to simply oh. Cool Ranch, but originally they were Cooler Ranch. That's a fun fact. To You're take telling home. me that they when cool they first ranch came up, what used they were, to be called they are called Cooler. Ranch. And here's another fun fact: Ranch doesn't always translate overseas, so it's called Cool American in some <laughs> European countries. Yeah, the Cool American. I'm gonna yes. eat a Cool American. Okay, huh. this is the this last one: <laughs> Cheese and Almond. Cheese and Almond. That sounds. Have you ever had cheese and almond together? Heck yeah. I think I've I guess had on like a pl on like I've a charcuterie. A, I've plate. had a cheese ball that was lined in yeah. sliced almonds, yeah. so I'm gonna say it is real. 
Boy, I miss those cheese balls. I think it's a good idea, but I don't think it happened. It is real. Oh, it look was, at this It's package. exclusive to Japan, was introduced in the early 2010s. It looks like the chip itself is made out of almonds. I will say that. It's a special chip. It doesn't seem like a Dorito. It's nope. a Dorito that's been like smoothed off. But the brand name is right there on it. Wow. Doritos mm -hmm. don't have to be triangles. They can be bells. Yep. Are you a member of the Mythical Society? Well, you want an even easier way to dig into content like Behind the Mythicality and Retin Link React? Download the mobile app in the Apple and Google Play app stores free for all Mythical Society members and initiates.